Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, let's do the full review of this uh, Samsung Galaxy Fold. And guys, I've been now actually using this for the last 27 days as my primary smartphone. I started using it from 18th October. And just today, uh, the news was that Motorola has also come out with a foldable phone, the Razer. Uh, it doesn't fold like this, but again, that's also a foldable phone. I'll post my thoughts about that one in a different video, but let's talk about this one. And I really wanted to use use a foldable smartphone and see what is the experience and now I have mixed experience in fact I would say uh, it's much better than I thought I thought this would be a royal disaster kind of an experiment I purchased this is not a review in it or anything and I thought uh, the entire money that I'm putting is going to go down the drain and after some time after two three weeks posting this video I will sell it off but I'm going to retain this uh, phone because it is much better than I thought but again it's not perfect so so let's get over this and I won't go if about every detail about this phone because I've covered a lot of aspects uh, in the unboxing video I'll leave the link in the description area so that you can check it out but let's look at this one and as you can see uh, this is the uh, one you get like this it's a candy bar like thing like this and uh, this is the always on display that I've enabled shows you the time notifications and stuff uh, it's a little bit on the bulkier side as you can see it is like two phones actually sandwiched so yes it's a little bit on the bulky but again you can hold it comfortably in a single hand like this because it's not very wide so you can hold it like this and the fingerprint uh, uh, scanner is over here and it took me a couple of days to get used to it but it's very fast as you can see and this is sort of the mini screen and it actually has two screens uh, this is completely independent of the internal screen so you can have your different apps over here and stuff so i put some of the uh, apps over here so it's fully functional and uh, you can do quick replies and stuff over here with this one but as you can see this is very very compact and yes you can reply you can write stuff but again the keyboard here is a little bit cramped to my liking i got used to it uh, any small uh, sms whatsapp replies i do reply it via this but i wish this was a lot more wider it would have been a lot more easier to type but uh, again this is not the main thing the main thing is that you unfold this like this and this is how you got to use it uh, normally and here uh, is the advantage again as it's a foldable screen it's a plastic OLED screen so you have to be careful with this one again uh, don't poke it with your fingernails or do something like that again I watched the unboxing video there are a ton of warnings given so be careful but now I've been now using it regularly I'm not babying it or anything but common sense stuff like uh, when I'm folding it, I use the hinge like this to fold it. Uh, because what I've noticed is that uh, a lot of friends have uh, took this phone, check. They didn't know how to do it. And what they were trying to do is close it by pressing it here on the screen or something like that. You shouldn't do that. You have to use common sense stuff a little bit. So again, it's a fragile phone. Uh, there is one thing that I noticed uh, on this phone that uh, none of the other reviewers mentioned. And that started happening after about... Uh, uh, almost two weeks of usage again as you notice the entire mechanism is based on this hinge uh, so you fold it and it's fine the hinge works as you can see but now after about uh, two weeks I started notice saying a slight creaking noise over here uh, let me see if the microphone can pick it up uh, as you can see so this is something uh, that worries me a little bit uh, it was not there when it is new but now after two weeks it started but it's the same now after about now it's almost four weeks since I've been using it so that is something uh, that I have noticed and again uh, I hope in the next version they make the hinge a lot better but when you unfold it like this it's a very good experience I would say uh, you can do yeah, actual some multitasking for example uh, I do browse a web and sometimes I open the whatsapp over here and even Twitter over here and I can do two things at the same time uh, you can actually add a lot more you can reduce this a little bit and make this wider if you want but uh, those are some of the things that you can do so it helps you in multitasking and the biggest thing for me personally is that if you've been noticing lately I've been actually wearing the glasses uh, I've got some reading glasses now and uh, with almost every phone in the normal mode uh, some of the fonts are so small that I have to actually wear this a lot of times but on this one because when you unfold it everything becomes a lot bigger on this one uh, as you can see so I'm actually able to uh, 
just let me remove this and open in the full screen mode uh, use it without the glasses so again the bigger screen does uh, make quite a bit of a difference and one uh, unique thing that i've noticed after getting this smartphone is that i generally uh, also have the ipad uh, pro 10.5 and i've also got the new samsung galaxy tab but after this one i've noticed that i've stopped almost using those two uh, devices so this one is acting like a mini tablet to me and in that way it's actually really good uh, so many times i used to always keep uh, the ipad uh, in the what do you say my bag and but now it's just sitting here on my desk as you can see so it has reduced that it's not a true tablet replacement because i frankly feel when you open it yes it becomes a little bit bigger 7.2 in screen but still i would say it's not a true tablet replacement if the screen would have been bigger it it or 8.5 it would have been a lot better uh, so it's great for consuming content uh, for example let me just show you the audio is actually good it has stereo speakers it's from manual to automatic but this is how it will look quite a bit of different type of As automatic uh, uh, transmission cars but one con that i've noticed is that though the internal screen is supposed to be quad hd uh, uh, screen the maximum resolution that I'm seeing on YouTube is just 720p. I don't know if it's a bug or something, but that is something that I have uh, noticed. Uh, in terms of color reproduction and everything, it's actually really good. I don't have a problem. I'm doing a lot of browsing on this. Uh, it handles everything fine. Uh, the good thing is that it's a very powerful uh, phone. Uh, Samsung has thrown everything they have on this one. It's having the Snapdragon 855 uh, uh, SoC, not the Plus, and it has that massive uh, uh what do you say uh, uh 12 gigabytes of ram so in general day-to-day -day usage i actually never you uh, noticed any lag on this phone maybe just samsung requires 12 gigabytes of rams on their phones but yeah uh, jokes apart uh, i didn't have any issues of lagginess and you have that app continuity for example this is the reverse i'm doing let's say this app is over here and if i fold it it'll come over here uh, this is not on by default uh, but you can set this but what happens is regularly let's say you've got a message or something you open it over here you know reading this if you just unfold it instantly it comes to the screen so again they have that continuity thing and i thought it will be really really buggy but they have implemented it very well so again uh, the fold is good and i know many of you might be asking about this crease that you see and if you notice if you look at it straight you don't notice this crease but again if it's on an angle or if you have really white or total black uh, things uh, then you will notice the screen frankly speaking again this crease is like a notch after a couple of hours you stop noticing and i did consume a lot of media watching your youtube videos netflix etc and again i had a very good experience so again you forget about the crease but yes if you look at it from the angle it is definitely uh, visible uh, so that is regarding uh, uh, that and i don't like this big notch yes they do have two cameras over here I wouldn't have mind if they just had a single camera, but this just looks ugly. Maybe in the next version, they should just remove it. And it has a lot of cameras. I won't get in depth regarding camera. Again, the camera setup, uh, the rear camera, which is the main thing, is almost the same as the Note 10 Plus. So I won't get into detail. So again, if you have noticed the pictures with the Note 10 Plus, that's the same case with this one. And the fingerprint scanner is really good on this one. And uh, apart from that, there are some other things that I noticed on this one. Uh, it also has, uh, what do you say, MST. Uh, so with Samsung Pay, I have added my credit cards. So it works very well on this one. I just swipe it and tap on a machine and it works. So that worked very well. Also, the wireless charging is actually pretty fast on this one. And I also used uh, reverse wireless charging. Because as you can see, I'm wearing the Samsung uh, Gear watch. And uh, I, I'm... Uh, the charger is mostly in the office so i don't carry it uh, but i was able to charge it quite a few times with this one so that actually works very well uh, so these are the things that i have noticed uh, the only thing is that worries me as of now is that hinge there is very slight play that i'm noticing when i push it a little bit i'm noticing that one that was not the case uh, when i got it uh, purchased at the new uh, started happening after two weeks but it hasn't deteriorated so that is one worry I have about this one and again common sense stuff uh, it's not water resistant so again you have to be careful that uh, not to put uh, it around the water and this area is fine the outer area is fine it's having a gorilla glass and stuff so this is durable uh, but again the internal screen is a plastic oled 
So you have to be a little bit careful not to point it with uh, pointy objects or fingernails or something like that. That's the thing. So uh, these are my impressions. But now let's talk about uh, what would I like to see in the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2. And Samsung is working on the Go uh, Fold 2. It will should come out sometime in 2020. So these are some of the things that I really want. And this is coming from a user who has used this uh, Fold now. Uh, I would say I really want a slightly bigger screen here. Uh, it's functional, but again, as I've told you, it's a little bit on the cram side, especially when you're typing. Uh, I wouldn't mind if this was slightly wider and uh, they could have pushed the screen even towards the edges because Samsung has those edges screens, but here it does not go till edges. So hopefully in the Fold 2, they make it slightly wider and push the screen almost to the edges uh, that would uh, be a lot more useful I would say and when we unfold it now it's uh, having a 7.2 inch uh, screen it's actually good enough I would say but I would like it to be even bigger because right now I would say uh, this is not like a true tablet replacement this is like a micro tablet a 7.2 inch uh, uh, screen is good enough but again it is not a proper tablet replacement I would say when it the if they're working on a new one and it unfolds I would like it to be even bigger about 8 to 8.5 inch uh, screen that way you can uh, do real work uh, yes you can do multitasking as I've told you like this put one map but again if you do that like that it becomes a little bit on the cramp side as you can see uh, I would love to have uh, even a bigger screen on this one and I hope uh, they do that and it's easily possible I would say if they just make this a little bit wider uh, obviously the internal screen will become even bigger so uh, that's uh, one thing that they can do uh, again it's still a plastic OLED screen so I want a little bit more durability on this I don't know Corning was teasing that they have uh, what do you say working on a glass that is uh, flexible so if they can add that uh, to the next uh, what do you say uh, foldable device uh, that will be great and that will add to a lot of durability on uh, this one apart from that i would say as i've mentioned about the hinge already i would like the hinge to be a uh, even better on this right now i'm having a little bit of flex which actually frankly worries me uh, so that is something that they have to really work on and also uh, the make the hinge even tighter so that it is dust resistant I, as of now it's not dust resistant so you have to be careful with that and uh, i don't know if they can do this uh, remove the visible uh, crease on this because i was seeing the teasers of motorola razor the flip phone and on that one from the teasers what i've seen the crease is a lot less than the crease on this one so if motorola can do it definitely samsung also has to up their game with that so that is something that will be a real improvement over uh, this one and lastly uh this starts at two thousand dollars so it's sort of a concept phone and now the motorola uh razor which is also a foldable phone uh, different it doesn't become like a tablet i hope that the next fold the galaxy fold 2 or whatever they call uh is a lot more affordable hopefully if they can bring it around the thousand dollars price point uh it will be great and a lot more people will uh, actually get into this foldable world and but i have to say after using this smartphone i feel foldables are the future of smartphones but the question is when would that future come is a question mark because as of now this is very expensive and again uh, we are testing with the form factor samsung has gone with this one it's like a candy a shell like this you open it it becomes like a mini tablet uh, Motorola has shown a different concept. It's a small phone. Open it becomes like a normal phone. So we'll be seeing a lot more form factors uh, with this foldable smartphones. So it'll be very interesting times. And I see in 2020, a lot more vendors will start playing with foldable phones. So hopefully by 2021, uh, I don't know if it is possible. Uh, it might uh, start to become mainstream if uh, they managed to bring the price down to about thousand dollars and I run out some of the kinks that I have mentioned but again uh, as I've mentioned earlier uh, this has surpassed my expect I completely forgot the speakers are really good on this one stereo speakers so the multimedia experience uh, consuming of content reading of content is was a very good experience and in fact it exceeded my expectations I to be frank I thought that uh, I have purchased this and after using it for two three weeks posting the review I will sell it off but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to still use it because this was one of the most unique smartphone experience that I had. And 
just opening it app and using it i don't have to use my glasses is a big bonus personally for me anyways guys that's it for now for my review of this galaxy fold uh, i'll also post my thoughts about the news uh, motorola razer smartphone what do i feel about that so again stay tuned for that and again next week some new phones are launching so stay tuned to my channel and uh, say stuff uh, again if you're not subscribed subscribe anyways guys that's it for now thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys